All right, what's up, guys? We're here with Team Formula, the owner of it. So he's going to answer a few questions. So, so yeah, tell me how you guys got first started with Team Formula and uh, what made you get into Halo? So uh, I've always been a part of Halo. You know, Pistol A growing up was the guy I always watched. He actually saved my life um, growing up at a young age in a poor household. You know, I, I sold drugs from 12 to 16. And, you know, going through that, you know, watching him, you know, I wanted to be like him. So I knew I needed to change my way of life if I wanted to do something about it. Uh, all my life, I've always wanted an esports or even to play in esports. So I just started off grinding the esports since I was about 14 and then worked my way up. Finally, uh, playing as coaching and getting a lot of management uh, business attire under my belt. And then I finally uh, set up a few different teams uh, and went in anywhere from starting from Modern Warfare 2 up. And uh, one day I was sitting on my couch and I was just thinking about, for some reason, I was thinking about Caustic from Apex. And, you know, I'm, I'm my friend, best friend's a chemical. Uh, he's a chemist. Uh, he works in a, uh, one of the big plants here in Orlando, um, here for the HCS Open. And uh, just sitting on the couch, drew up a plan, and I knew formula was where I wanted to go because you take two ingredients and you make it and it turns it into a formula. And that's what it's all about. Uh, the reason I started this organization was because I wanted to change the whole esports organization platform where we have shorter contracts. Instead of a year contract, we have three month contracts. Players also get uh, all player fees. They don't have to pay any type of player fees. They get they keep all commissions, so it's 100% commission based. They have no, they don't have to pay the organization anything for their winnings. You know, they get free stuff. And another reason why we started it was so we can contact and get a hold of the younger and poor generation because a lot of the esports now, you know, you really have to have a certain amount of money or a certain in a certain tax bracket to really even try and go to these events. Um, so we wanted to make it available to everybody. We wanted to be able to reach out to everybody. Our goal here is to be able to have everyone come together. We just want to make sure we get everyone involved with what they're doing. Um, we don't want just the regular pros getting noticed. We want people who can't get noticed to get noticed. So that's why we started this organization. Oh, well, that's good. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Uh, okay, let's see. So yeah, tell me how your Halo team came together and how did you guys do in the open bracket here at the HCS Orlando event? So I've always wanted a Halo team. Um, so I was reaching out to a lot of players. Um, I was originally with Leave No Witness before I made the organization, um, which was a South American team. Um, they were involved with Apex Legends and Halo, and they've been you know top graded, top three in Halo for Mexico, and they've been ALGS top 20 team contender. So we really wanted to get involved. And when I finally left them, when I started my organization, uh, we came into the open bracket. Um, we won our first game, we did everything very well. You know, we communicated, we made sure we got our team shots and we made sure we hit each other's crosses. Um, we just stayed focused and clear communication throughout and we played our power ups right. Uh, we went into game two against Reclaimer. Um, they, they were really good, they have gunshot, they have a lot of pro experience. Um, we just been formed for about three months now. Um, so we really were trying to work together, you know, everything comes slowly. Just make sure when you get a team, you guys are sticking through it because there's a lot of players nowadays that think they can just go onto any team and if they're not good then they need to leave and go find somebody that's not the case you got to build chemistry you got to build teamwork and you got to know each other so that's the biggest thing coming into the event i think we lacked a little bit a lot of us didn't really know each other so the chemistry wasn't really there um we lost once we lost against reclaimer we had uh another <laughs> called encore going into the event we did really well um we really stuck with what we did in the first game uh, that we played in the series. Uh, we went ahead and we just dialed in and we were just focused, we had fun and we did what we loved. Um, the next was against uh, Pretty Boys. Um, this is a team we always scrim and we just we just couldn't pull, pull out the W. Um, they played better and they hit their shots, better communication. We just couldn't do what we needed to do to win. Awesome, awesome. Now, is uh, Team Formula going to be coming back next year for Season 2? We will be coming back next year for Season 2. Right now, after this, we're not going to be involved in any type of world just because it's Top 16 or Top 12, as you know. Um, but we're going to be focused on Call of Duty, so we're going to be building a Call of Duty roster. With myself as all involved in that, I will be a player in that just because I'm fucking cracked. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and build our team based off of myself. My game sense for Call of Duty is retarded, and so we're about to make this a killer experience. Awesome. All right, appreciate it for the interview, man. We look to see, uh, see you in Season 2 as well as Call of Duty, and it was a blast uh, interviewing. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Subscribe to Legendary C4.
for more Halo content.